Welcome to the Now I'm Ashley. And I'm Gus. Happy SNES Classic Yay. Pre-Order Day, everyone. You, of course, you're only happy if you actually got one. Nobody's uh, happy then. Right, exactly. Reservations for Nintendo's latest retro console went up on a bunch of retailer sites today in the US, starting in the middle of the fucking night. Yeah, as if it wasn't hard enough to pre-order an SNES Classic Edition, Nintendo apparently decided to up the difficulty level. The mini SNESs went up for pre-sale on Best Buy at around 12.30 a.m. Central Time, while Amazon went live closer to about 4 a.m., which meant that some lucky night owls were able to snag copies. Or people who were like up late because they were sick. Lucky. Not me. Uh, later in the day, Walmart and Target put theirs up for pre-order too. Of course, they were sold out within like a minute. I was there. I was in the trenches and no. <laughs> By the time I got to like confirm your order, they were too bad. Other people were better. Mm -hmm. GameStop allegedly had SNES pre-orders available as well, but no one could tell because their site was down. So a bunch of people swarmed to stores to try and reserve their consoles instead. I mean, I did that. Eddie and I did that. We went on a field trip. We tried a couple different GameStops. The second we walked in the door, they said sold out. We went to the next one. They had been sold out long enough to have printed out a sign saying they didn't have any available and tape it to their door. And there were still, as we left, like dozens of people walking into the store. It's crazy. Do you remember yeah. buying things in person at the store? Wow, stores still exist. Exactly. I, this, I guess this is why. Uh, of course, scalpers are already doing the dirty work too. Pre-orders are already selling on eBay ranging from $200 to $400. Fuckers. Uh, to further whet our appetites, Nintendo also released a new trailer for the retro system. And guess what? Of course. Our appetites didn't and, need wetting. And it unveils at least one new feature, a rewind function allowing you to go back for several minutes of gameplay. If only they had that function in real life. Go back to 12.01 p.m. Now, while we don't know how many SNES classics were actually put up for pre-order. At no, least seven. Solid numbers, there were at least seven. Uh, two of us uh, here in the office were able to pre-order. It was, it was like a lottery. So two of us got it, two of us didn't get it. Uh, so 50-50, I guess. Other lucky fans rejoiced their good fortune online. As one Reddit poster, Sepik said, I've never been so happy to have explosive diarrhea to keep me up late. Snagged one. You go, Sepik. Could have this little TMI, uh, but don't panic just yet if you didn't get one because we think Nintendo will make some more this time around. Well, theoretically. Uh, now, if you're wondering what we were even talking about, here's a little background. Uh, the SNES Classic was unveiled a couple months ago. It's the latest retro console from Nintendo that features an old school design, original controllers, lots of classic games. The SNES Classic costs 80 bucks and features 21 of the Super Nintendo's best games, including Super Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, Star Fox 2, Star Fox 2 being the big one because that was actually never officially released. Looks awesome, right? Yeah. Well, the problem is everyone assumes it'll be in short supply. It will be. And that's because Nintendo's previous retro console, the NES Classic, was super popular, but Nintendo only produced about 2.3 million units, which created shortages and markups by resellers on eBay and elsewhere. Yeah, spoiler alert, 2.3 million, not nearly enough. Mm -hmm. as, and we've already jumped the gun once as far as pre-orders go for the SNES Classic 2, which was uh, Walmart accidentally put the SNES Classics up for pre-order on its site last month, and everyone who got one got really excited, mm -hmm. including moi. But sadly, it was a mistake, and Walmart had to tell all of us who thought we'd reserved one, yeah, sorry, but no. Sorry, and then they not said, sorry. Don't worry, they'll be up again later. And I said, great. And then, you know what? Well, they put them back up and I didn't get one. Uh, while the SNES Classic will be a limited run like the NES was, there's reason to think that Nintendo will be producing more this time. According to French outlet Nintendo Home, Nintendo has allotted 160,000 SNES Classics to France on day one. And for a little bit of context, Nintendo set aside just 84,000 NES Classics for France total for the entirety of its run. So that means by the first day of launch in France, they'll have access to double the units that the NES Classic got from launch day until it was discontinued. Now, the big question is, is that just France or is that everywhere? The hope, of course, being that it's everywhere. It doesn't exactly feel like that now if you're trying to pre-order it. Uh, so the big question is, uh, will doubling it be enough? How quickly will Nintendo cancel the console? Uh, probably quickly. They canceled the last one like as of what, March? Uh, at the moment, all the pre-orders uh, were immediately sold out in Europe. Those ones went up way earlier than they did for those of us in the US and North America. But hey, maybe this is a po little bit of positive news for those of us who are still hoping to get one, hoping that those numbers will stay consistent with supply around the world, that we don't have to worry as much as we're worrying right now. We're gonna have a Mad Max situation. Uh, Nintendo has also said they'll hold some of the consoles back so that stores will be able to actually have some 
some in stock when it officially releases September 29th. So if you can't pre-order, you can always wait in line for hours and hours. Why the fuck are they doing this? Fun. Just put them all online. They're gonna, they're gonna, people are gonna get hurt. Have they not seen Black Friday videos? They what have, is wrong with they them? They want that Black Friday rush oh because it looks good in photos. At the end of the day, Nintendo's always considered these retro consoles to be these fun throwback limited edition items, like no big, but uh, by keeping the supply low, they've basically ensured there will always be stampedes like today's to try and get a hold of one because it's either that or, you know, pay 300 bucks later to some toot off Craigslist. Uh, what do you guys think of the SNES Classic going up for pre-order in the middle of the night? Did you manage to get one? Let us know in the comments and leave your address and I'll go there and I'm gonna take it. Right, you can also just send them all to us. That's fine if you order and you were like, you know what, I actually don't really want one. That's fine too. Uh, and for all your Nintendo news, including the weird hoops they make you jump through to purchase their stuff and give them money, be sure to like this video. If you're new around here, subscribe to the know. How many deaths are gonna be caused by the SNES Classic being in stores? Right, like, like that it's gonna be on someone's tombstone. RIP, they tried to get the SNES Classic. Died as they lived. Now they are hunting flat that SNES. Now they flat pancake. Yep.